camera. This is in the East Valley. This is the 60 at Gilbert here. We have a good flow of traffic in both directions on that part of the freeway. Things are looking good over there on that part there. But let's take a look at the big picture. We do have a lot of green as expected early this morning. We see a little bit of traffic slowing down on the 17 southbound as you get closer to 7th Street there. A little bit of orange, but we also see some busy traffic in the Buckeye area, and that's because they're doing that construction over there. So it's the I-10 eastbound. If you get closer to Watson, you start to hit that red zone, and it's just because they've narrowed the lanes because of construction. So remember that as you're getting ready to head out early this morning. And then let's head all the way to the east valley. I want to give you a heads up. There's going to be a Loop 202 restriction. This is the Loop 202 Santan. So the Loop 202 westbound between the Loop 101 and McQueen Road will have some restrictions starting tonight at 9 p.m. will be lifted tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. and it's all due to the Val Vista project. So remember that. Allow yourself some extra travel time and I'll keep you updated if any accidents pop up this morning. Rachel? Thank you so much. We're still ahead on today. 5 a.m. in the morning and let's take a look at the big picture. We do see some traffic building up in some areas and one little area is because of an accident that just popped up a few moments ago. This is on the I-10 westbound at the 40th Street exit. So we do see some traffic there right by that accident. So remember that if you're heading out within the next few minutes that you might see some delays in that area until it completely clears up. And then far out in the West Valley in the Buckeye area, we do see some traffic on the I-10 eastbound as you get closer to Watson and it's because they're doing that construction over there trying to widen those streets. So remember that as well. You may be stuck in some traffic until that starts to ease up and I'll let you know when that happens. Rachel? We take a look at the big picture. We still see a lot of green on our map, so that's some good news. But we do have a new accident that just popped up on the 51. This is the 51 northbound at Indian School Road. No major delays around this one yet. We still see some green in the area, but that may change because the accident just popped up. So I'll keep an eye on it and let you know if things start to slow down. This one's still in the clearing stages on the I-10 westbound near the 143. We did see some traffic earlier on the 143, but now we're back to the green zone. And traffic is finally easing up in the West Valley in the Buckeye area, the I-10 eastbound as you approach Watson Road, we're back to the orange zone. It was red earlier, but now things are easing up, so it's moving about 35 miles per hour in that area. Outdo, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to save it, you know. I'll, I'll let him shine today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's what's going on around the Valley Freeways. We're still keeping an eye on this accident, which is in the clearing stages. It's the I-10 westbound at 40th Street. It's taking some time because there's multiple vehicles on the scene, along with DPS. And then we even have a tow truck way off to the side here in the neighborhood. And it's also removing a vehicle out of the way as well. So just in case people might be paying attention to what's going on over there, that's what it is. We do have a couple other accidents on our maps and some traffic that are slowing some things down on the I-10. But this accident's on the I-10 westbound near the 143. No major issues at this time, but still be aware of it as you're heading out there this morning. A surface street accident on Cactus Road at the I-17, so it's close to the I-17. It's not on the actual freeway. Still drive with caution over there. And then we still see some traffic far out in the West Valley in the Buckeye area on the I-10 eastbound as you get closer to Watson, and it's because they're doing some construction over there. So just heads up when you're heading out within the next few minutes. We still see some traffic on the maps. Ryan? All right.